Hey guys, what's going on? Side Home Theater Dude, got a brand episode for you today. Today's video is gonna be all about the Prime Wireless. I've been using these in the house for the last several months. I have a really good understanding of what they are, what they are like in my environment, how they perform, different uses for them, and it's just long overdue, and I'm really excited to actually go ahead and give my thoughts and my, my views on them, and I'll go ahead and do that right after the intro. All right, so let's talk about these things. So the Prime Wireless is basically this module right in front of you. This thing powers, this is the brain. So it powers the other speaker and that one's passive. So it's class D amplification and it's 50 watts RMS times four equaling 200 watts. So max dimensions are gonna be 10.24 high, 6.1 wide and 7.1 deep. And then both tip the scales at 18.2 pounds. So this one basically holds all the goodies. It holds the amplifier, it holds the wireless modules, it holds the Bluetooth, all that other stuff, and it basically powers the passive speaker, which is the left speaker. You get a subwoofer out, analog ins, right and left. You have the passive speaker out, and you have digital ins with the optic toss link type of setup. You have an auxiliary in, so if you want to use an auxiliary cable or this thing is Wi-Fi enabled, you can use it as a Wi-Fi speaker. Another option is to use Bluetooth, and then you can have it as mono mode or stereo mode. So if you just want to use one speaker, you can do that. Or if you want to use two speakers, you can do that as well. This USB is very important for updates. And also if you want to use a wireless subwoofer, it's Wi-Fi enabled and it also has wired ethernet inputs and outputs. I was talking about earlier, this is the little cable that they give you. It's proprietary cable, 10 feet long, and you plug it into the passive speaker. And then you also plug the other end in to the active speaker. And on the back of both speakers, there is a 2.3 inch port, and that really helps out with the mid-bass delivery. These things pump. I mean, you would think that these little speakers don't get that loud, but they do. With a producer who can rap and control the maestro at the same time with the dope rhyme that I kick, you know. So it's very elegant design. These come in two finishes, the piano black, which you see right here. And if you're picky about fingerprints, I'd probably pick the piano white. I'm the king, ain't no discussion And now we blowing up like spontaneous human combustion My consumption is the illest section 8 I know you feel this on the come up with so here's the really cool thing with the DTS PlayFi app. This is basically the brains of the entire operation. You're going to download this onto your smartphone or if you have a tablet, you can use that as well. Um, but basically this is it. It's a very, very intuitive app and there's lots of different connectivities and functionality that, connect, that you can actually use with this thing. So you can rename it. I chose mine Death to Soundbars because basically the reason why I wanted to do this one is because, you know, it's an alternative to Soundbars and you can have a nice 2.1 type setup if you want to do it like that. And you can also have the apps that actually come come loaded with DTS PlayFi. If you want to, you know, not have them loaded on the front screen, you can just X them out and then you don't have to deal with them. You can have speaker groups. So this thing is expandable. These are two speakers, but if you want to add more speakers, uh, basically you just add the um, Prime Wireless Sound Bass amplifier, and then you should be able to do that as well. And that'll give you the op option to do a stereo pair. You can also do a wireless home theater. And with that Prime Wireless sound base, you can actually turn your old speakers, you don't have to throw those away, you can turn your old speakers into a wireless type application. That's basically what I'm showing right here. So here's an important thing, I would go ahead and get into this presets option and make sure you hit the little critical listening mode. That basically unlocks all the goodies for the high resolution audio. So the best thing about these speakers is integrated, it has a nice DAC to it, so you can really play high res audio. This is flax, 16 bit depth and 44 kilohertz, and the max capabilities are 192 kilohertz at 24 bit depth, which is very, very impressive, especially for these type of speakers, because typically you're not gonna see something in this price range that's gonna give you that high quality. So this is what I was talking about. Critical listening mode, 192 kilohertz resolution. You have your 24 bit death rate. The critical listening mode is key, if, especially if you wanna unlock all the functions that this little unit has to offer. Make sure that whenever you're on title that you actually have it on hi-fi. There is also an addition above that, it's paid for, and then you get the lossless. So you can actually use that with your Denon AVR or your Marantz. So let's do some quick musical demos in FLAC.
All right, so I went ahead and showed you guys the Prime Wireless, talked about the specifications, the features, the details of it. I did a couple sound bites, and uh, <laughs> like I'm always gonna say, like these videos weren't intended to be um, an a absolute accurate type of rendition of what these things are gonna sound like. Um, so always just take that with a grain of salt. Obviously, speakers are speakers, so whenever you actually hear them in your room, it's gonna sound the way it's supposed to sound. Here are basically my type of um, final thoughts on it. It is a great little speaker and every single time that I've heard this thing, doesn't matter if it's you know now or the very first time I heard it, it fills the entire room with sound. And you never think that that entire like, you know, um, natural realistic type of sound is coming from these small little guys. But these little guys put out a lot of sound and if you have them turned up and you're, you're not really aware of which, which ones are playing, say if like you, you run out of the room and you come back and I mean, you're, you're actually listening to the music, um, the sound that comes out of these things is just incredible. It's very crisp, very detailed. Uh, the high-res uh, DAC on there really, really helps out, especially whenever you want to play some high-res type of audio. And as you guys saw in that little sound clip that I did, uh, <laughs> high-res isn't just for you know snooty people sipping brandy in their uh, in, in their favorite comfy chair anymore. I mean, you you, you can enjoy all kinds of uh, uh, really hi-fi type of audio tracks and you don't have to have that type of connotation. So um, it, it, it always seemed like hi-fi was reserved for, you know, just the, uh, the wealthy and, and things like that. Cool thing about this one is it actually allows you to enjoy that hi-fi type of experience without the super inflated price. So a couple pros and cons. Pro, sounds great. <laughs> Con, the fingerprints. The piano black, I mean, obviously I don't have a problem with piano black. I think it's very elegant the way the, the actual finish is is displayed uh, but if, if you're if you're really worried about fingerprints either don't touch them or clean them very often uh, <laughs> or what, what another option is is go with that piano white I talked about it earlier in the video so these things have been out for a little while and a lot of people don't necessarily know how to use them so you can use them as a stereo pair you can actually um, you know expand them if you have that sound base the prime wireless sound base Basically what you can do is you can turn any of your, your normal passive speakers into a wireless type of setup. So with the DTS PlayFi app, you can actually set up either, you know, a four channel listening experience, six, however many you want, different zones, things like that. So you can have different rooms doing different um, type of music playing, or you can have them all playing the same type of music. Or what you can do is you can have it in a um, kind of a home theater type of configuration. You can have it as center channels, surrounds, whatever you want to do. It's fully expandable. And the cool thing is, is whenever you do that, the Prime Wireless sound base um, amplifier, that's 150 watts times two. So each channel is gonna be getting that and that's that's plenty of power for almost any speaker. And the cool thing with those is you can actually stack those and stack those. So I, I think um, somewhere along the realm of 10 to 11 of those can be used in the same type of system. Um, I'm gonna have to check my facts on that, but I think that's what I heard um, just in short talk. So you can put these in your living room, you can use them as a sound bar, you can have them in your computer room, your office, you can use them as gaming type of setup. Uh, you can have it just in a room, your bedroom, your bathroom, uh, the shower, man cave, garage, whatever it is, man. Uh, uh, the wife is actually gonna buy a couple sets of these for her clinic. And whenever she heard them, she played with them a couple weeks before I did. And she really liked them so much that she was like, hey, I gotta get some of these for, for my clinic because they have an old outdated type of uh, setup and she would like to actually bring a little more quality into the, the sound of, her, of the clinic. So I think it's actually really cool. So final thoughts, these Prime Wireless, highly, highly recommend them. If you guys haven't checked them out in person, uh, please do yourself a favor and check these out. Um, the sound that comes out of them is amazing. It's really realistic, it's crisp, detailed, and uh, it's just expressive. Um, you would never think that these little guys actually pump up that much sound, but I mean, it's, I've said it time and time again, it's the, the, the way that these things recreate sound is, is, is just very impressive. I'm really impressed with the functionality of it. You can use them in all kinds of different configurations. All right, guys, well, I'm going to go in this video here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that little subscribe notifications bell, that little icon, that really helps out a lot. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave links to this stuff in the description. So if you guys want to check these out in person, highly recommend it. Um, sadly, I got to send these back, but I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll go ahead and check you on the next episode.